Bill Nye, the science guy, taught kids on his popular TV show in the 1990s. Now he's hoping to reach a bigger crowd with his new book, Undeniable Evolution and the Science of Creation. It's inspired by Nye's own controversial debate earlier this year with creationist Ken Ham. Bill Nye joins us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. So what about that, that debate? Some people said that um, it was a controversial debate. Well, it's striking that it's controversial, but yeah. uh, there's always the downside when a scientist or somebody like me, a science educator, debates a creationist because it raises, it energizes their base. Yeah, but you said you debated on whether you were going to do it at all. Well, we went around and around in the language, but yeah. the thing was they may have accidentally crossed a line there, everybody, because on their <laughs> job applications, they're standing by this. Uh, you have to have a testimony as to your religious beliefs, and you can't be homosexual. You can't be gay to work there on their ad job application, which is okay, I guess, mm -hmm. but you can't take tax dollars and do that. Mm -hmm. We have laws and stuff. But what does that have to do with the debate that you guys had? <clears throat> uh, well, the debate was uh, calling attention to this extraordinary worldview, and as mm -hmm. I say, by extraordinary, I mean obviously wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. uh, the, that uh, you can't worry about the grown-ups; they've come and gone. My concern is for the young people in that area and all around the world. If we raise a generation of people, of science students, who don't understand the fundamental idea in all of life science, then they are not going to be uh, productive p members of society. They're not going to be critically thinking voters, and they won't. They won't contribute as much as they could have, and it's not a coincidence. What did you think when the Pope recently addressed oh. this issue and he said, God is not a magician. Evolution in nature does not conflict with the notion of creation because evolution presupposes the creation of beings who evolve. Helpful. Uh, it is helpful because there's so many people comforted, get so much out of being uh, in the community of Catholics, mm -hmm. that to have the, their head guy uh, say, we're going to join the mainstream of scientific thinking is good. Mm -hmm. But I was going to say, it's not a coincidence that the, that the uh, creationists also deny climate change. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a really important thing to them. And just look at this morning's stories. We have the snowstorm in the Midwest, yeah. and then we have the military building this extraordinary robot mm -hmm. yeah. uh, for fighting a war that maybe we're not going to fight again. You know, mm -hmm. we don't have people. That's not how wars are being conducted right now. So future generations are going to wonder what we're up to. That's all. You I'm also saying. talk about cloning here and, and worry about cloning. You know, cloning uh, is, a, if you understand the science of it, is straightforward. This mm -hmm. is to say, you don't want to clone yourself, because then you don't you don't have a new mix of genes going into the future. That's the whole idea of sex. Sex, sex, sex. Mm -hmm. Apparently, sex gives you enough of an advantage as a living thing. That it's worth bothering. You know this expression: "The lilies of the field do not toil." Do they spend? They work pretty hard uh -huh. to yeah. make flowers. You look at a dandelion; uh -huh. it's working as hard as it can to make a flower. It's important to them. You, you write too that sometimes you have to pick up other people's trash to make That's the world a better place. I love that the game. line. Two things from what my trash? dad. What trash? Yeah. What? Two things from your dad. To, every, every person's right responsible for his or her own actions. Yeah. Leave the world better than you found it. That, those are two good things. What trash are you picking up? Yeah. Uh, I pick up trash on the street, and no, no, no. Uh, you're yes. quoted as saying you have to make the world better by picking up trash. Yeah. Well, trash is an overall expression, meaning uh, just because somebody else pumped all this carbon dioxide into the atmosphere doesn't mean you shouldn't should, take steps to. You shouldn't do what you can do yeah. to make it. Well, better. not only that, yeah. do all you can. Back to creationists and all of that. I mean, do you know any scientists that you? Um, that will argue with you, any, any serious scientists will argue, no. either about religion or creationism? Well, now everybody, religion has to be, is, for me, completely separate from science. Yeah. I mean, we all believe in something that we can't prove, yeah. I should hope. Right. Uh, uh, so if you uh, get this feeling and you have this community, that's great. But whatever you feel, the Earth is not 6,000 years old and there was not a flood with every tree on Earth underwater 4,000 years ago. That's there weren't animals two by two? No, there, okay. you can't do it. Okay, but no. Mount Ararat is snow covered. You can't no. hop from there to Australia. Like, no, get all over morning it. we've been teasing your favorite scientific fact that you were going to share, share it with us. What is it? My favorite scientific fact is that we are made of the stuff of exploded stars. We are made of stardust. Yeah, right, right. And so, therefore, we are at least one of the ways that the universe knows itself. 
Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, Tyson talks about the same thing. Well, so did my old professor Carl Sagan. That's where yeah, I was first exactly exposed to. Right. Back in the uh, disco era. <laughs> I feel die. We thank you. Thank you. Stardust. Undeniable is Stardust. on sale. Stardust. I like that. Yeah. It's on sale right now wherever you like to buy your books.